What is up guys, welcome to HPG Gaming, I'm Javin Singh again, back here with our second video. Today it's all about Kim Jong-un, 6 ix 9 TikTok, and Travis Scott's new song in Fortnite. Good stuff, do not go anywhere, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and again, if you are new, or gaming isn't your thing, or you want more content, please click on our account. Again, subscribe, we're working really hard with this, subscribe, go check out our other playlists. So we're gonna get right into it today. Kim Jong-un's health. So I wanted to get on this right away, but I wanted to wait for more reliable news sources coming in. Uh, I'm pulling this from ABC and Complex. Um, there's been a lot of speculation, a lot of rumors what's going on with Kim Jong-un. So we're going to get right into it. North Korea's young leader was absent from the celebrations marking the country's most, impo most, most important holiday. That much is clear. But that absence has now fueled speculation that something must be wrong. He is 36 years old, and it is very possible Kim Jong-un could be in dire straits. It could upend a country that has only ever had three leaders in its history. Him, his father, and his grandfather. They possess a nuclear arsenal that threatens its neighbors, as we know. And analysts fear that if Kim were to die without a clear heir, it could lead to infighting or regime collapse in the worst case scenario, with threat of loose nuclear weapons and destabilizing flows of desperate North Korean refugees into China and South Korea. The Trump administration, of course, had to make a comment that was completely whack, and President Trump says that he quote unquote, wishes Kim well. So Robert O'Brien, President Trump, Donald Trump's national security advisor, told reporters on Tuesday, and again, this just came out, this report just came out today, it is 8.52 p.m. We're just a few hours behind. It's the 21st of April. It's too early to talk about that because we just don't know, says Robert O'Brien, the National Security Advisor. We don't know what the condition of Chairman Kim is in, Chairman Kim. So this is super important. He was last seen in a Politburo meeting on April 11th concerning the coronavirus. But days later, here's where things got interesting. North Korea test-fired a barrage of missiles, but there was no state media report on it. And there was no indication of whether he was there. You know, since his father, he has to make some appearance. And it's just not like him, is it? He appeared from public view a long stretch once before in 2014 for what was later reported as an ankle surgery, reappearing after six weeks and walking with a cane. Former CIA official Jung Pak says that this set of events has to tell us that something is off. He relies so much on his grandfather's legacy and trying to look like him and act like him, it's unprecedented that he didn't show up on that missile testing. So this is super important, and very recently we have just gotten news that Kim Jong-un has apparently had some kind of heart surgery and he is not doing well. Keep in mind, guys, that... This dude is like 5'7", 300 pounds. He is not healthy. He's only 36, but he has a heavy smoking habit, and it, ha it endangers his health. So Daily NK, a South Korean news site, said that he was brain dead after a heart injury. Of course, we know North Korea. They are super um, zipped up on all kinds of information, so... Anyway, next, 6 9 is out of prison. Well, while his official release date is going to be somewhere around the 24th of July, he is actually going to serve the remaining four months of his 24-month sentence to home confinement. So this uh, last Wednesday, uh, an announcement came out that, again, he'll spend the rest of his sentence at home rather than behind bars. It was done because he actually has a long history of asthma and was actually hospitalized for bronchitis last fall, which means he's at high risk of serious complications if he gets sick with COVID-19. So, I mean, everyone's thinking, I'm thinking, what now? What will life be like for this guy? So, can he release music still? Will he be on Instagram? Will he be the loud, obnoxious self person that he is? I'm guessing we're going to see him on Instagram Live right away. Um... So again, this isn't gonna be that breaking because this dude can't go anywhere. We're still in a pandemic. So yeah. So let's talk about TikTok. 
Business success isn't guaranteed. This comes from a MSN money three out, uh, report three hours ago. Again, this is all super recent. And we've seen people like Gary Vee, all the Shark Tank people saying TikTok is the key. TikTok is the key. We are like ultra entrepreneurs telling you TikTok is like super important. Gary V, Gary Vaynerchuk from Vaynerchuk Media, you've probably seen him, 40-year-old dude with a weird camera angle on every Instagram post. He's like, yeah, this is the new Uber. Like, I didn't invest in Uber, and I missed out on it, etc. cetera. So, um, with one, it has over 1 billion downloads and deep pockets. But the major question now is, how big of a business will it become? Social media as Dan uh, Waddley uh, the media media team from Microsoft News reported his ongo the TikTok's ongoing success is definitely shaky because social media users can be fickle. It depends on how sticky it will be with be long term. Will it be a Vine? Will it be the next Facebook? We don't know. I mean, it, it's super goofy, but it is actually making lots of money. So internal communications is brought up a lot about TikTok. So. Uh, the role has been elevated with CEOs facing greater demands for transparency within the TikTok community because there have always been internal leaks and employee activism on TikTok. So the biggest global PR firm, Edelman, for which, for one, has been growing its internal comms business at a double-digit rate and expects to see that area grow 10 to 20% in employee engagement this year. But the thing for TikTok is how will they keep not only their viewers, that can be a lot. I, I, I want you to, to Google this. It, it, it's a lot to get into right now. But we want, uh, TikTok needs to not only pull its viewers, but also its employees because a strong, a, a loosely knit PR team with TikTok, like it was in the beginning, is going to be damaging, according to Microsoft News. This is something interesting, something we should look into. So let's go into one of our biggest news. According to USA Today, Travis Scott is, Fortnite fans, you're going to love this. Travis Scott is going to debut his next song on Fortnite as part of Virtual Tour. This is crazy to me. It's ridiculous. This is like absolutely insane. So I guess he, he didn't do enough and he, he wanted to cross this off his bucket list. Epic Games, obviously the creator of Fortnite. Announced Monday, the musician will premiere a brand new song as part of the astronomical experience within Fortnite. Actually crazy. The virtual music tour will run April 23rd to 25th, stopping at various time zones across the globe throughout. Pretty weird. Scott will become a part of Fortnite's Icon series, unveiled in January to showcase, quote, the artistic vision personality and attitude of top creators on its platform. This is from Brett Molina, again from USA Today. I didn't think pop culture could get any more ridiculous. I was actually looking forward to Fortnite taking the backseat in the news because of coronavirus. But of course, it just can't stay out. Players who attend the astronomical event will get an Astroworld Cyclone gui glider and two loading screens. They can also unlock additional gear through a series of challenges. This is the latest pop culture event, but last year players got to check out a live in-game concert by DJ Marshmallow. I do remember 2K did this. I think it was with DJ Mustard. But yeah, last year it was with DJ Marshmallow. JJ uh, Abrams, director of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, visited the game to share exclusive clips tied to the movie. You can go to Fortnite's Twitter. It's pretty weird. Um, Fortnite is going to do whatever they can to stay in the top of the news. And it's just odd because, again, Fortnite, companies like this, TikTok, they do insane things to stay uh, viral in the news. And for some reason, they just cannot get out of it. So for our final story, and just this is a quick one, we're going to talk about. So Aisha Curry just got s sued for $10 million by one of her cooking. Uh, so, so she signed with a cooking company or something, and... Now they want $10 million and 50% in her new company. She says that they have, this is courtesy of Complex News, they have inspired her to be a gr the next uh, the next Betty Crocker for, for uh, 
for cooking and yeah she is basically getting sued for 10 million dollars Je uh, Jennifer Lopez is being sued for like five million dollars people are getting sued companies are not sitting idle companies will do whatever they need to do to stay first of all in the news stay viral and second make money so guys this is just our second video uh, I encourage you to please go and Google this stuff, stay up to date, tell us in the comments what you think about it, especially Kim Jong-un. It's just crazy for me to think that this dude could actually be brain dead. Again, we don't know, this is just speculation, but uh, we wanted to get this out as soon as we could. So yeah, subscribe, go check out our other playlists. I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been Javin Singh with HBG Gaming. If you want to see all sorts of different content, please subscribe.